Aggie, it's ended past City nil. We're having two of your yeah. overall thoughts on the game this evening. Uh, not the most memorable game of football, um, which after Saturday I don't mind at all, to be honest. But uh, I thought it was a solid, unspectacular away win where uh, we had to grind one out, but uh, we're not too stressed about that at all, to be honest. Like we're. Um, Experience tells me that these are often the games where, if you're going to do something, you've got a, you know, when you're not quite at it and you've got a few tired legs and shuffled the pack a little bit and maybe it's not as um, free flying as what it has been. Opposition would have been delighted with the point. I mean, point at home and they're setting up the way they are. It's, um, yeah, I think all the all things considered, we're um, we're very pleased with that and we think that's going to be a very important three points and if we can. Um, produce more uh, games like that in terms of where we grind grind it out when we're not at our best. I think that will bode really well. Okay, and substitution second half had an yeah. impact on the game. Yeah, I, th I thought um, I thought Tommy Willard probably could have got man of the match. Uh, right in terms of his impact, I thought he was injected life into the game. Uh, we, we just looked at the dugout and we just and we were speaking to the staff and we just felt the game was drifting by. Like first half, I couldn't believe it. it just just flew by, and I thought that's almost like a waste of time. That game, it was, you know, nothing happened really. And you think, Jesus, like where's that gone? And there was a worry that the game was just passing us by. So Tommy come on, injected a bit of more energy and a bit of life and quality into our performance. I thought he was, uh, I think he's very good. And obviously Harrison, Temi, and Ob finishing the game strong and getting us over the line. Yeah, always important those points, but obviously we had Glenn Ramis in mm. through suspension this evening. Do you think that had an impact on the midfield? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Um, I think Wads, Wads and Kano put in a, a great shift. I, I, to be honest, I think it was more to do with when it went into forward areas, um, we turned them all over cheap. Um, and the thing is, with the way that they set up in a bit of a block, um, when you do get the ball into forward areas, you need to... You know, you're, you've got limited room to work, limited space because of how they're set up. So you need to be a little bit more precise. You need to take care, and ultimately you're going to get less, less opportunities to do it because the opposition are blocking those spaces as opposed to Slough on Saturday where they just went man for man and gung ho, and the space was uh, all over the place. And uh, you know, our forward players were receiving the ball sort of in big spaces, one v one on the opposition's back line. Whereas tonight, it just wasn't that room. Uh, and I just felt that when we did eventually get the ball into him, we just turned it over cheap and a bit wasteful. And um, some of our combination play wasn't as slick as what it has been, but I can forgive him for for um, for not being quite on point. Because again, like Cash has been uh, probably not even average for his standards tonight, but he's still got an assist and he's still come up with a big moment. So um, yeah, uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't as free flying, and I think. To an extent, we probably missed Glenn, but um, I thought Wads and, and Kano done a, done a decent job in there as well. Yeah, with, with what we were saying on commentary was you've, obviously um, when our back players got the, got the ball, then you got, um, but they didn't press high up the pitch, mm, they yeah. sort of sat back. So Kane yeah. and, Kane and Wadham, they sort of had four players around them at yeah. any given time in those situations. So it was difficult to play out properly from the back. Yeah, and <clears throat> I don't think we helped ourselves completely. It was a bit Hornchurch-esque at times, where it was a bit pedestrian along the back line and we were a bit slow. I think we could have played with more tempo. I think we missed opportunities to play forwards. And that was compounded by, when we did play forwards, we then turned it over cheap. So it's like, <laughs> Bit frustrating. I think it just led to a bit of a disjointed um, performance. It's, it's it's difficult in there, like, and it's a it's a sign of of where we're at and that we're in a good place. Yeah. Because as I said, Bath at home, who we were obviously in the playoffs last year, uh, setting up to try and nick a point on their own patch. So um, that's credit to credit to lads really in terms of um, what they've done over the past few weeks. Yeah, and Cashman um, <laughs> got a lot of close attention yeah. this evening, yeah. in one way or another. Yeah, your thoughts on that? Yeah, it was, it was um, yeah, the, yeah, it was. <laughs> he got flattened a few times, some very questionable decisions. Um, I thought tackling from behind w wasn't allowed. Now, I heard that. Well, apparently it's all right though. <laughs> um, he's been folded up about five or six times. Um, which is frustrating, um, but we've had that referee before, um, and I can remember him 
uh, from the previous encounter. So um, I wasn't overly surprised at the level of officiating tonight, shall we say. Okay, well, well, well done on the win tonight. Thank you. We're, go we're going to Saturday's game against yeah. Morecambe yeah. Uh, in the FA Cup. Um, chance to get to the second round proper for the first time since 1982. Yeah. Um, I presume the squad's looking forward to it. Yeah. And um, we're going to wrap them all in cotton wool now until Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, we haven't. I know it sounds silly. We haven't massively thought about it. Like the big thing for us tonight was to, you know, finish, finish tonight two points off top. That was our big thing. Finish tonight in the playoffs. Finish tonight two points off top, and then we'll we'll divert our attention to Morecambe. Like the players are abundantly aware that the priority is the league. Um, but now we've we've ticked tonight off. Uh, obviously, we'll look forward to the challenge of Morecambe. Got some. Massive selection headaches. I'll be honest. I'm already. I said to Azza and Dino and uh, the other staff. I was like, well, we've got we've got a few difficult decisions to make here, which is good. Because um, like I said, what's coming back in was very good tonight. The boys that have come on, Tommy, Harris, and Temi. We've got a few headaches, but yeah, no, we look forward to it. We'll train hard on Thursday. We'll prepare as we do for every game and just look forward to a decent turnout <coughs> football league club at, at Woodside and. Um, a game that we, you know, we're going to with the attitude of let's, let's win the game and let's get to the second round. Okay, brilliant, Aggie. Thank you very Cheers, much. Pete. Thank you.